We begin tonight with a family left shaken after a bullet ripped through the bedroom of a five year old girl. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Mike Duffy. The family says that they're hoping that the person who fired that round will be held accountable. So take a look at these photos. It's especially frightening because that bullet landed right where the little girl sleeps. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is in Ann Arbor where neighbors are on edge. She's talking to that child's mother about her horrifying discovery. We don't know if someone was firing a gun off intentionally or if it was just carelessness, but it was when a mother was making her little girl's bed that she found signs of a bullet. I'm still in shock. Uh, it's just uh, it's still very hard to believe that it happened. This Ann Arbor mom is talking about the bullet that was found in her five-year-old daughter's pillow. Karen was making the bed when she saw damage to some of the wood. I was behind it, there was a hole in the wall, and I did not... I didn't know what it was at first. I thought maybe she had done something. So I was looking around her floor to see if there's anything sharp on the floor. As Karen continued to look around, her husband was looking outside for damage. It's now been fixed, but there was a hole near their daughter's bedroom window. As I was putting the pillowcase on my daughter's pillow, I then noticed the hole in the pillowcase. Then when I took off the pillowcase, I noticed there was a hole in the pillow. Um, and that is when I left everything and the police had arrived, you know, within minutes later. And an officer found the bullet in the pillow, stunning the child's parents and neighbors. It's very scary and it's still hard for us. Well, it was horrifying, honestly. Um, it didn't happen directly to me, obviously, but I am good friends with the family that it happened to. I have two children myself. One's in elementary school. I know the child that was, you know, involved in the incident, so it was very personal feeling to me. The bullet was found last month on April 14th, the family's house located on Dundee Drive in the area of Sile Church Road and I-94. Ann Arbor Police just posted details on their Facebook page Tuesday, hoping for help from the public now that they say they've exhausted all of their leads. I think it's terrifying. Um, it, you know, this incident happened the day after the Jude Walton homicide as well, so there's a lot of you know community concern as it was and then an incident like this of course is concerning uh, especially the outcome of what could have been. So if you have any information on who could be responsible please call detectives with Ann Arbor Police. We're just grateful that she was in a proper position to have not been affected by it. It was very scary and obviously this can happen anywhere but when it happens that close to your home it's it's extra scary. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kimberly, thank you.